Not, summer's off, actually. So. Starting in August 9th. Well, Aaron, that's my first question for you. How, how'd your first year of medical school go? Uh, it was it was good. You know, I, Ohio State did a great job, I think, of helping us through the craziness of you know med school, also with the pandemic going on. So, a lot of credit to the the school. They they really helped us out. Um, it's my last summer off, so enjoying it. What made you decide to come back and be a part of Carmen's crew again? Uh, I mean, the guys, this is a ton of fun. It's just you don't get to do it anywhere else. Um, you, obviously, you miss it when you walk away. and uh, it, it seemed like a perfect time to, to play again. You know, it's here in Columbus. Um, there's no bubble or anything like that. And um, I had the summer off, so we'll see if I can be useful in any way, and, and hopefully I can. Did Jerry you have said that to, you uh, had to sell him on, he wasn't asking you, you were asking him. How did that whole thing go? Yeah, you know, <laughs> I, I heard Jared, uh, we just went back and forth. It was more of a, uh, Jared was trying to protect, I think he was trying to protect me and my family. Um, he knew that the year was harder, so he wanted to give me the time off that I think I needed and deserved. I kind of told him, hey, I, I was leaning towards wanting to play if, if you want me to. So um, he graciously obliged, and we'll see if I can make him proud. Some new pieces this year. What, how is the team shaping up and maybe different than the past few years? Yeah, obviously the, there's a lot of people that have the same, a, a similar core, but it's fun getting new guys in um, and, and great guys, you know, Costa and Keyshawn. Uh, this is Lenzel's second year, I think. He'll continue to improve, so just adding pieces is, is always a lot of fun, and I think hopefully we can win a couple games. Did you have to get back in shape to prepare for this? <laughs> uh, that's past tense. I don't think I'm. I'm definitely not in shape um, the way I would. I would love to be, but you know, I think I'm working on on getting there. Um, do play a Tuesday night rec league with some other guys, so I fooled myself thinking that was getting me in shape uh, the last couple of months, and it, it is not. Uh, so, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, hopefully, some there's some adrenaline. Obviously, the fans. And, I don't think I'll start, so I can I can kind of relax on the bench for, for a couple of minutes. Did it feel different at all, like coming back to this now that you've been removed from professional basketball? Um, a little bit. I mean, the one thing about, for me, especially in medical school, they do a good job of putting you in positions that you're uncomfortable or you've never done before. Um, I, I'm comfortable on the basketball floor, so that part's been really, really fun to just come back and kind of take a deep breath and not have to overthink things, just kind of play. So uh, we'll see. We'll see how, how fast people are moving on Friday and um, if I can still keep up. Are you approaching this like this is your last ride or is it kind of we'll see? I would be surprised if I played again after this and anything really. Tuesday night I'll be there, but that's, that's a little lower key. So. What was this year like just getting back into school after not you know, taking yeah. classes? Yeah, uh, hardest part was definitely on Amber. Um, with our, he was, you know, he was a, a year and a half, 18 months. Now, from there and until now, um, I like learning. You know, I like, I like having a, a regimented schedule and doing those things. So, for me, it was, it was challenging for sure, but it wasn't um, unbearable. The hardest part was definitely finding a good balance, making sure I um, didn't leave her on an island and things like that. Her job was way more difficult than mine, for sure. What is a Tuesday night rec league like with Aaron Kraft playing basketball? It's a it's a really good time, you know. Uh, Matt Willigers kind of the leader of it, you know, former OSU guy. So, asked if I wanted to come out. It's a great time. Um, it's it's good. It's good. What's your guys' record like? Right now, this we actually got blasted by 25 in the playoffs last in the winter. Um, that was not good. But currently, I think we're like five and zero oh in this this summer session. So. Are you doing the same kind of stuff in rec league that you're doing the rest of the time? Um, you see you not not as much, no. Um, I did dive the last time I played because I wanted to see where I was. Um, I'm not where I used to be. I did get a floor burn, um, and my son thinks that all I do is fall down when I play. So I still get on the floor, so it's hard not to. You mentioned playing here in Columbus. How exciting is it to have? One more go around, no COVID, like mm -hmm. there's still a bit, not, you know, mm -hmm. fans, people will be there. How nice is that going to be? I think it's going to be awesome. You know, we're looking forward to I know it's a late game, so hopefully people still come out. But you see the games out in Wichita, and you see the fans that are coming out to, to watch them play. And I'm just kind of hoping for the same thing because there's nothing like it, and you don't get to do it anywhere else. Did the way last year kind of go influence you wanting to do it again? Uh, honestly, I didn't think about a ton about last year. Um, for me, it was it's another chance to play competitive basketball. Probably my last to play high competitive basketball. So um, my body's still pretty good for the most part. Uh, it felt like a good time. And we'll see. Talk about the competitiveness of playing in a league like this, as opposed to playing college. Yeah, 
yeah, it's just a different game. You know, I, I think if you, if you watch any of the games this year, the refs are, are really letting guys play, too. You know, it's, it's been pretty physical. They've been letting a lot of stuff go, and that's kind of stuff that doesn't happen a ton in college. Uh, and it's just a professional game. Uh, so being able to guarding one-on-one -on -one is a lot more important because everyone's highly skilled and able to, to score. So just being able to have that adjustment. Uh, but, but playing overseas has, has helped. Have you been able to gather anything from watching the other games last, last weekend besides? Tonight? Yeah, you know, I, I hope they let us play, you know, they let us play just as physical. I think we have, a, we have a big team, we have a physical team, so I hope they let us do that. Um, the field's tough, and in not just the teams we're watching, but if you look at our region, just every game, there's no gimme game. There's no, let's just figure this out as we go. Like we have to be ready to go from, from the get-go. So hopefully, you know, as a team, we can, we can grasp that. You mentioned you don't think you'll start. Um, kind of give us a scouting report on where the other guards are. We've obviously seen Shannon and Keyshawn mm -hmm. before, but it's been a while. What, what have you seen from them in these practices? Yeah, I mean, I, I love Shannon. I love Shannon's game. He, we're similar. I think he's probably quicker than I am. So he does a good job of getting guys in the offense. He knows what he's doing. And defensively, he's a pest. So we're not going to lose anything there. Lenzel plays really hard you know, on defense and um, is, a, is a force in transition. So got to figure out a way to stop him. Keyshawn's just been places places speed, which is I think is important. You know, we have a lot of guys that like to play really fast, so when he gets the ball, he's he's a little more calm and, and can get to his spots to, to score. So I think we have we have pieces. What do you make of the, the Mid American Unity roster, given that there's some Ohio guys uh, in the mix there, and how uh, familiar are you with, uh, with some of those guys? Yeah, I actually played with DJ um, overseas for a year. I mean, I love him. I love his game, uh, and it's it's a lot more fun to be on his team uh, and watch him play than it is to play against him. So. Hopefully we can find a way to contain him, but um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I, they have a great roster. They have a good team uh, and, and coaches that kind of know what it takes to, to be successful in this tournament. So, um, like I said earlier, you know, there's, there's zero gimme games that are going to happen. Thanks, how much are, you, you say you're not in the shape you want to be, but how much do you miss this, being around the guy? Yeah, yeah. I, I miss the lifestyle the most, I think. You know, the coming in, just hanging out, kind of relaxing, chatting it up, talking. I, I miss talking trash a little bit. Um, not a lot of that going on in medical school, uh, which is probably a good thing. Um, you know, I miss the excitement and getting excited for someone else, you know, those kind of things that just you don't do in everyday life. So um, it's been funny. You know, we, we got to come here a couple weeks ago with the current team, and that was a great time. And uh, this is this is fun, too. So trash talking is discouraged in medical school? Uh, we're a... We're a build up community you know we're there for each other so not a ton um, and I'm not sure how people would handle it really so there are a couple former athletes um, in the class so we, we could probably jar a little bit thanks for watching be sure to click on that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing come visit us over at buckeyegrove.com for all the best Ohio State information on the web